Welcome back to the Stone Plank and Twine No Crafting Series. And we have done it, guys. We have made it to Plankton Storm Shield Defense number one without crafting a single weapon or schematic. If you do want to catch up with anything else relating to this series, then there will be links in the description down below, which will also cover the brand new revamped quest line, which I have been covering for you as well. And I do have to say, this series has been a lot easier than I actually thought it was going to be. We have done so much better than I ever anticipated we would do, considering we are not crafting any traps or weapons. But we are on our Plankton Storm Shield defense. We are going to get attacked on our first one from the north, the south, the east, or the west. It is going to be totally random. Majority of the time, they do tend to come from the north and east. They are the two areas that I've found in the past that they tend to come from. So with the power of some magical editing, I am going to get some defenses set up and I will see you in a second. Magic. <laughs> right, so I've literally spent probably about the last 45 minutes to an hour trying to work out the decent best way of actually doing this and setting it up for SSD1. I mean, it looks like it might be overkill, but with the traps and stuff that I've got on here, it's not going to be that great. But it's gonna have to do, I think, because I don't really have vast amount left. Um, I've, I've kind of gone for a build around the actual home base itself, just so I can try and keep everything in the one place. A lot of this is gonna end up getting taken off when um, we come to our next SSDs and we get to place an amplifier and stuff. But anyway, nonetheless, it is it's pretty much a, a cube around the home base. I've managed to set up a few you know traps and things around here just to catch them and deal some damage. We got tar pits, gas traps, and we got floor launchers. We got wooden floor spikes to like slow them down. We've got some sound walls in here. Um, I've also got a couple of wall dynamos, which I found, uh, put them in to help cause some damage. I did put in a few extra ones over on this side because this is probably the most likely direction that they are going to come from. It's not a guarantee because as said, they could come from north, south, east or west. We've got all possibilities. Uh, so I've, I've put more over here because when we do place other amplifiers, these at least will help us a little bit uh, later on down the line. Uh, a few um, uh, wall darts in here as well just to help out and yeah it's pretty much uh, the same sort of thing going all the way around um I accidentally placed this one in the wrong place so I've edited this one out just put a window to catch anything coming in um, they're going to come uh, when they do sort of spawn, if they come from this way, they're going to come from up that mountain bit up there. So some will come through the water, but majority hopefully are going to come around the sides. And uh, we've got some wooden floor spikes just slow them down as they get in there. Now, this is probably the, the least trapped up side. And in, in fact, I don't even think at the moment that there's really any point me having any of this lot in here because it's it's not gonna do anything i've got no traps on it um so yeah we, we'll leave that one as is um like that actually i'm gonna put that one back on there because if they do fall down there at least hopefully they're gonna walk around this one to get hit by this um and then they come around in here i didn't have anything else really that i could put on so then yeah we might have to do a bit of shooting on this side uh, more than usual, but I'm gonna go ahead get this all upgraded and then we'll get this storm shield started Yo, you about done? Tick -tock. Okay, I've got everything pretty much leveled up to tier 3 materials as much as I possibly can I'm just waiting for one final piece down here to finish upgrading which I think it has now So let's go and get this storm shield started Nope, it hasn't finished. Ha. Come on. Hurry up. It's slow upgrading. I've got a constructor on today because I need to do that for dailies. There we go. Let's get this storm shield underway. Now we do at least only have two waves that we need to defend on this first plankton storm shield. And from the first wave, it looks like it's going to be coming from the east. 
I can't really see any problems, so I'm going to speed up the gameplay here and I will see you towards the end of the second wave. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a card, never change, play the game that we say I need a break Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want. I'll keep dreaming on. And time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want. I'll keep dreaming on. Pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a ride or die for my dreams on tap I'm a fly real high, you ain't see me slack, no it's not how you fall, it's how you get right back up This how you get tough, calluses on my hands so rough, yeah, I call your bluff I'm not the one, mess with me, come down with none, cause I'm so done, you had your fun And now you're gonna face down the barrel of the gun, cause I got a full clip, put your name on it But I'ma let you slide, cause you ain't worth it Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want, I'll keep dreaming on Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want, I'll keep dreaming on We are almost at the end of our Plankton Storm Shield. We've got about 30 seconds left to go. Now, while I was editing this video and trying to find some way of making that speedrun gameplay a little bit more interesting, I was having a look through the YouTube's copyright free music section and I came across the music from these guys. And I don't know whether I'm pronouncing it right, but they are called Nefex. I have put a link in the description down below for their website. It does come from the YouTube's official copyright free music section, so I shouldn't get any copyright claims on any of this. I've got to be honest, this is not normally the sort of music that I would listen to. And so I wasn't sure whether I should include it in or not. But the more I listened to it, the more it actually made me understand just how I am as a person. I just want to be somebody. I want to do my own thing and yeah I really enjoyed that song so let me know in the comments down below what you thought of that music is it your sort of thing did you like the song is this something I should include in these videos in the future I really don't know but yeah Plankton Storm Shield Defense number one is done and dusted so let's move on to our next quest in our Plankton quest line so we managed to complete that pretty easy we've unlocked a few additional things now we can actually hold a few more resources as well but our next mission that we've got to go through now is a double atlas so this should be fun let's go and get this started now when you're in twine peaks you have to build trap tunnels and defenses and you have to build quite a lot of them and what makes it really hard when you start a brand new account and you're all the way back in Stonewood or Plankerton is the overbuilding. I tend to overbuild way too much in these missions. Now I've gone and I've built my double atlas, I've fetched a constructor loadout, I've got my base, I've got defenders set up, I've got traps set up, I've got my abilities 
and yeah it's way overbuilt i probably could have got away with half the materials and half the traps that i have used on this defense but i know with a lot of missions like this the spawns change their direction so i tried to cover as many aspects as i could but as i was playing through the gameplay it didn't really change direction and half of the stuff i had put up could have been prevented i could have saved them for another mission but never mind it is always better to be safe than sorry got this mission done pretty easy and really didn't cause me any problems whatsoever so that is our dual atlas straightforward really easy build a couple of defenders now that we've got animals in the game you can also use raptors and wolves and things to help you defend at your objective which i think is an absolutely fantastic feature yes i know we've got a load of bugs with these new animals coming in and a lot of occasions the animals just disappear get stuck in terrain die whatever but they are so useful and especially when you're going through an account where you're not crafting any weapons you're not crafting any traps you're just using the things that you find from chests having the addition of animals that are going to help you to fight as well as your defenders is an absolute godsend in my opinion but yeah that is our dual atlas it is done and dusted so let's move on to our next quest in our plankton quest line our next one in our Plankton list is a Rescue Survivors mission. Now, everybody by now should know the Rescue Survivors mission, so I'm going to skip past this one, actually, and we are going to go for the Cork That Space Hole quest instead, and this is where we need to complete a Ride the Lightning. So hopefully, I can use a little less resources on this one. So let's go and launch that van. Now, after wasting so many of my hard-earned traps on that last dual atlas, I decided for this Ride the Lightning that I was going to try it with no traps, pretty much, and try and save some resources for my SSDs. So, I have literally got some tier 3 metal around the van. I've got a couple of defenders up. I've got Ralph back, my Raptor. And apart from being a pain in the back, so I keep wandering off and going for random animals, he's actually been quite useful. So I've had wave one of this completed. It's done. So we're almost done now on wave two. And yeah, it's it's been no problems at all. With the defender pads being up and the Raptor and me being there for backup, to be honest, you really don't need to waste so many traps on these early missions. I'm the right sort of power level for these missions. It's not a case that, you know, my power is too high and, and I'm flying through them. They really are easy quests in Plankerton. So there's no need for high power level traps, high power level weapons. Literally, it's so, so easy to complete. But this one is now done. We have managed to save some extra traps and resources for our SSD. So let's go and see what our next one is going to be. So our next quest is called Wild Screaming. And this is the one where you need to find the three pop parts around the rifts. And if you are really unlucky, like some people I see in my comments and my original videos on that, you may have to do several missions in order to find your pop parts. But once again, I have had the luck of the Fortnite gods and I have managed to find all three of my pop parts in this one single mission. I did come into a Destroy the Encampments, which used to be relatively easy anyway. But now we've completed our Plankerton Storm Shield Defense number one. We can level up our heroes even further on the evolutions. And that means I can now unlock the second abilities. And that means that my Dragon Scorch loadout is now even more powerful than it was before. I have got such a cooldown on it. It's going to be... It's going to be fantastic and it's going to save me so much on my weapons and traps and things in my missions. So yeah, that was destroying encampments and pop parts. Done, finished. Let's move on to our next one. Whoa, back it up, back it up. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> 
Well, the next quest along, actually, in our quest line is just a simple build the radar mission. So nobody really wants to sit watching me building radar towers. And the one after that is a fully explore a zone, which, again, is going to be really simple. So I'm not going to cover those ones, actually. And what I think I'll do is I will end this episode of the Stone Plank and Twine series today on a high. The next one that I will cover when I do start my next episode is going to be Deeply Destroyed disturbing simulations so keep a check out for that episode hopefully coming very very soon don't forget there will be links in the description that will help you add in all your aspects of fortnite save the world but until the next one commanders i hope you have a fantastic day stay safe and i will see you on the next one